All right, here we go. It's uh, Saturday, September 28th. Let's go over some moves here. Soxel, if anyone doesn't know, it's a three times leverage bullish semiconductor ETF. All right, so this was the move back in July. When this was up at 70.08, you know, that's the high as this broadening wedge. Look how big this is. It's massive volatility. Go all the way down to August. We had that move, of course, Japan, carry trade, wherever they call it. 2350 is the low. You had a nice bounce here. Now you have a trend line for him. Then we can't, we didn't go through that. We came back down and tested almost the low. And then right here, September 9th, the low was 2615. We go up from here. Now, after this candle, I figure we're going up, you know, higher and higher. And this it didn't happen. You have a back and forth move here, right here. Looks like we're going back down. Gap up. Look at this back down. Eventually, there's 35, then we got the high in a hammer candle. So a lot of indecision here. It's very tough. But once you have this stochastic going along, this is a lot of noise. The candles will be noise. See it stochastic straight up? That's what I use a lot. Now, on this move, it did cross over. So that was a negative move. See the watch there. It could have been you know, another move down. You know, we're overbought here at 91.64. And here's a big candle Friday. So the NASDAQ Friday struggles, semiconductors. NASDAQ was down 70. It sort of faded all day. The Dow Jones was um, very bullish. So that's where we're at now. Now, we're going to go down here and retest this. EMAs come up and be 35, this trend line. Yeah, I would look next week, see if 36, if that breaks, and then 34 breaks, then we're going lower. It depends how far. Um, yeah, if you go... Even further, this low is getting higher, so ever so slightly, maybe as good as a 28. Yeah, it depends how far this comes down. This might only come down a little bit, and we go back up, stay bullish. So next week will be really interesting with the direction we go at this point. So the weekly. Oh, and then let me see here. Yeah, if we do break up, here's the previous high. that was a 42.88. So I called it. I wrote it in X. I said 38 to 42. If we break that level, you know, then we're going much higher, 45 plus. Then we'll see, you know, what happens with that. The weekly chart, a yeah, very bullish three candles. You have a crossover. You do have a negative 20 EMA over to 13 EMA. So it's 40. That's why that 40 line is important. And that 42.88. But it looks like sort of bottoming here, like a W pattern. It looks like a W channel. And then we go up. That's one scenario. Um, the monthly is still negative. It's got to turn and cross over. Quarterly in this, it made a strong run. This is actually from late 2022. Look at this crossover. We go up, we go sideways. Now, what happens now? Is this going to you know, turn um, positive on that? It's going to turn this um, oscillator, the white oscillator, we'll see. And the yearly on this doesn't have much because this is relatively new to the charts on me few years all right so back to the daily chart so you have that w pattern here and going back to this has been pretty clean the figure you know let's go back to even july when it didn't move up it was a nice buy there's your short buy again shorten these big candles and then buy again at the low now you're low you're looking at all these lows here a low on Soxel, this ain't like a penny stock or anything. It is, these will run pretty much smooth. The market's going to pretty much dictate what's going on, semiconductor space. So when you're at these lows, and we're still in a strong market, so look how long this has gone up since 2022. So you're going up, and um, even on these you know moves lower, we're still going higher. The whole move is liar, uh, higher. So look at here, the low, the low. Each move on the low is getting higher and higher. So it was the October low, January 2023, May, November, August, now September. And we'll just see what happens with this. Now on the daily, not the daily, excuse me, five minute chart. You know, this made a good move here. Look at the gap down here. And this was pre-market hit a low of 38.56. Look at the move up here. Draw your line right here over 39. So this is a pre-market run. Very nice to 40.36. Now, pre-market, let's see the volume here. So, uh, where's the volume? 13,000. Yeah, this will do more than some ETFs. Some ETFs are dead. You can't even trade on pre-market. So, SOX was very good because semiconductor space. All right, so once it's hit this, though, look at the high. I get lower, lower, 40. This goes all the way down to 38. Actually, just on this move here, 37.54, then we go up. 
you know, back and forth. There's another low. Draw your line here. Didn't get over that either. You're playing the bounces inside. So this was the big move pre-market and a big move after the bell opened and very solid trading on this. So this is Soxel. And right now it's indecision time because we're going to break this high or go back to this low. So this is key. That was a very bearish candle, but maybe it'll mean nothing next week. Maybe, you know, positive news. This goes up and breaks that. Now you are overbought. We can stay overbought. It did this back in May 2024 for a while or a whole month. But so the caution. So again, I would look for this 36 to be support and then about 34 ish right here. Then if not lower, lower. Then if we go higher, break that 4288. I'm looking for 45 immediately and then 50 would be here. And that's the 38.2 retracement level. I'm going way back. I had them on there. And we'll see what happens here next week. So very good for swing trading, too. Some ETFs are better than others, just like any stock. You know, this will play semiconductors very well. The market, how it plays. Going back to January, look at this. Look at the lows here. What's that? One, one two, three, six, seven, eight. Now, this right here is a downtrend. I just put this because it tried to bounce. But when you see a downtrend like this, you don't get in. Very strong, and the market was going down then. That was the complete washout. Everything went down in about you know a week to a few weeks to a month. So that's why the orange there, yellow is definitely you know buy signals. And then of course your tops can be buy signals from shorting, but I just put all buys for lows. You can short the these high pumps, buy the lows, short the highs, and there you have it. And then add these trend lines too. This trend line up. This is a called a broadening wedge. Massive broadening wedge. Look at this space here. It's going higher and higher. Let me put this down here. All right. So we're in decision here. In decision. W pattern. W. What will happen next? To be determined. But I on this candle, I think we're going down a little bit at least. You know, retest here because very overbought. Also, he's trying to cross over. Unless Monday, there's great news, and um, yeah, this is pops from here. So we'll see. All right, that's it. Please subscribe to Mike Kim and Trades on YouTube. Smash the like button. What else we got? Mike J Trades X, Mike Kim and Trades TikTok, Mike Kim and Trades Instagram, all that. Leave your comments if you trade this. Any thoughts where you think it'll go or any other stocks you're looking at? It's always good. Uh, talk stock information, all that stuff. Peace, we're out.